hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. Last time we actually went over the Cursed Valley or the Black Valley. And uh, we still don't know what happened to the dwarves. We are still investigating. <clears throat> Your Majesty, this cemetery is the final resting place for the dwarves, dwarven settlers from all seven expeditions to Blackbrook Vale. The first are centuries old, while others are only a year. No doubt there will be precious tributes buried with the bodies we could order our soldiers to recover them but i warn you milady that they won't like it one bit um that's gonna oh we can just gain some extra stuff let's do it i don't care about the bad mood ah you're gonna cheer up in no time it's only for the next fight not like we're gonna lose the next fight because of it this doesn't seem to matter one bit hey what's up goals let me talk vale. the name itself embodied infamy neve arrived expecting misty ravines decrepit trees bound in spiders webs and swarms of bats what she saw was a warmly gurgling stream and the valley's gentle slopes blanketed in crocus blooms only a village of abandoned ruined huts and a cemetery stretching to the horizon behind it attested to the valley's grim past. The village seems shrouded in a guise. Be not deceived, said the queen. Reynard, some men to search the environs for any sign of life. The blood-curdling roar that came from the ruins a moment later proved the queen's caution warranted beyond any doubt. Oh, monsters. Short battle, special rules. Some things are more common than you think? Screw you! Don't tell me what I think. Uh, it's short battle, so we might as well mulligan right now. I don't need two of these. Uh, Gascon is... like, whatever. Gascon is okay. But I would like cards to get out other cards from my deck. Protect the settlers. What? Oh my god! Foglets! With fog! This used to be a thing! But it's oh my god, we're back to close beat the grant. Foglets with fog. Insane. Who would do such a thing? Ah, uh, we can do Leary Sight, man. Even power? I guess we should kill that all goal. No. Discipline shall bring us victory. This could hurt. Oh, we wasted Reynardo though. Not the best. Forgot about it. Ah, should have listened to me all Okay, I just move these in the back. Ah! Set the moon fire. Don't worry about it. I can set the front room fire as well. So we don't have to worry about which road they are on. Watch your heads! <laughs> now that I have two of them, might as well do it. Sight this might be reaping black clad heads. Um, punch him like that. I don't care to read the cards too much. This voice full. Okay. Boy. Uh, we can do Regiment Drummer. Again and again and again. We can hope to play two of them, then play a Hyduk next to it. A lot of Neckers. Uh, 
fine by me. But we play another drummer. Oh, nah. We have to play this in the front. I'd hoped we could solve this some other way. I guess we can play a drummer in the back. The army's wasted time for one like me. I'll just beat these. Max value. A lot of Neckers. Sure, you can summon all the Neckers you want. I don't care. I truly don't. I'm... Actually, the double roasting worked out pretty well. I think Isabel Hero probably needs to be played soon. Else we might not even get value from her. Nothing personal, I assure you. Left. Left. Right. Alright. We're gonna need to win by 200 points. 100 is enough. Maybe that should be the rule. If you don't win by 100 points, I'm just a dude. I don't know if we can throw that in the back, maybe. Actually, we could have played a good card. Yeah, that would be nice. My spirit's willing and how Xavier. Jason units. Not going into the fray already, are we? Thing about slings, they hide well. Fine. But now we have three charges. But I can actually give it to the slinger. Or we can just... Well, the thing is, I can't really get out more dudes. I only have space for... I got space for two more. Oh no. Yeah, that's that's again all we got. And again and again. We might as well refresh the charge of the slingers, because Savir is more likely to die. That's a lot of necros in his deck. But it doesn't matter. He's just gonna get wrecked. What fiends? I'm not sure what he's doing. His targeting is questionable. I can't play the drummer. That's all I got. Okay, 28 points, still decent. We can play drummer, but we can't. Have him space. What? Everything's dead. <laughs> Likely the last, that one. Should be oh, nice! The fog is in the fire now. Big Florin. Following the victory, the settlers' hopes seemed renewed. Could the beasts they felled have killed the previous lot of colonists? Perhaps the curse that had long hung over Blackbrook Vale was at last broken. We thank you, your majesty. The settler's leader said, slipping the satchel from his shoulder. You've granted us new hope. And a new home. I don't think so, because the settlers were dead in their beds. Frozen stiff or whatnot. They are stiff corpses. And if monsters did that... Maybe, maybe they were hunted by spirits, I could totally see that. And I did take out a ghost. But, uh... uh maybe, maybe that was happened? Again, not sure. But it, it was definitely not because of these guys. The Neckers, and these type of monsters. They would have eaten them for sure. The dwarves had rolled up their sleeves, were prepared to go at the huts to repair them, when one of their number cried out, Hold! There's something here! Something reeky. A voice most familiar, thought Meave. Yes, for it belonged to Barnabas, the rescued inventor. 
the gnome had elbowed his way to the fore, stood on his toes, extended his nose, and inhaled through it like a pointing hound seeking out wildlife. Ignoring all queries, Barnabas had then sat down on the brook bank, filled a glass flask with water, and was now holding it up against the sunlight, dipping into it the tip of his tongue and some strange scraps of paper extracted from the depths of the pockets of his patched coat. Finally, Barnabas stood, brushed his backside clean, and announced his findings. Well, we know with some certainty the reason for the settler's demise. Twere not beasts, no. They prowled in later, drawn by fresh graves. Twas the water. Oh, roll your eyes and whirl your fingers all you want, and then, here at the brook, nary a fish, all poisoned by subterranean fumes. Ooh. The dwarves hemmed, hoard, and grumbled, and were a heartbeat from abandoning the veil for good. Then Barnabas reached into his satchel and extracted a device of his own making he termed an aqua purificator. That is to say, a water cleaner, as odd as it may seem. You need but siphon water through this straw. Then drink up. Worry-free. Thus Meave rode out of Blackbrook Vale, deep satisfaction in her heart. <laughs> the dwarves extolled her for being bold, shrewd, and wise, while Gabor ensured this praise would likewise reach the meaty ears of Elder Hoog. Okay, I'm just really hoping that that uh, water purification straw will work, as advertised. Thing is, even if it doesn't, I really hope it does. Hopefully, they're not gonna put all their faith in that. You know, they have—they know what's wrong now, and the monsters are driven out. So, very handy. I'm not suggesting, we Barnabas, that your invention is is crap, or the thing you have with your you is crap. But you know, who knows? Just because it poisoned doesn't mean whatever you got can't filter it out. I'm not an expert myself, but who knows? But I do hope that they're gonna take it say well, take it a little. They're gonna be a little cautious. Can. Check this out. Yeah, we're not gonna pitch camp. The game is like, oh my god, you can spend 500 gold. Don't you want to pitch camp? No. The rumors Gabor had overheard were true. Scouts returned with news of a cavern at whose mouth lay rotted logs. An indication that something of great weight may have been rolled inside. Chests full of gold, for instance. Oh. I can then get on again, board with that. Poor tracks clearly showed some beasts had made the cave their home. Right. Decision time. Enter or scramble back down, said Gascon, Enter. rubbing his hands together for warmth. Please hurry. This frost is downright biting. Go. Oh. Enter the cave. We've scaled this high. We enter the fray. It be to descend empty-handed. Oh. Fall in behind me. The queen took the four, sword in one hand, torch in the other. The flickering flame's glow illuminated the cave's interior, casting long shadows. Meave was certain some horror would leap at her at any moment. And she was not at all wrong. No way! It's a fight? Oh, we gotta illuminate the Crace Shalmar. Oh, this is the... Alright, nice. So, we clear out both caves. Not a Shalmar. This is a standard battle, right? I believe so. Uh, maybe, actually. Save the mulligans. Oh, this is a shortened battle. Follow me! Uh, maybe. To a uh, quick Anyone restart, who if that is the with case. Strong reservations when entering monster infested pits? Uh. Okay, it's gonna help. If we can have Gascon in the hand. Uh, that's okay, but I would prefer Odo. Uh, we don't need two bombers, that's for sure. Yeah. 
I might just take this, but this is not the best. Go. Oh. Follow me. Together now. Anyone who struggle with strong reservations when entering monster. Shut up! I want to play. Asking for a friend. Oh my god. Okay, Lyrian Sightman gets played. Ah, we throw this in the back. Okay. Shalmar. Okay. Brazilian Shalmar. I smell a leak. Oh fuck. That's actually amazing. My guy didn't die, and he negated his own Shelmar. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. He does have a fat guy because of it, but matter. There's the Necro. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Again and again and again. We can. Oh, we're gonna randomly play at bits, you know. Or not necessarily a bits, you know. We're just gonna get something. Oh, another shell more. And it's a fair bit of points right now. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Mm. Yeah, I just play another drummer. Left, right, left, right. Guess I want to play a, the high duke between the drummers. I actually probably should have played the a drummer next to a, another drummer. We don't have to play it right now. Again. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? The only reason that I'm kind of considering Not using any more, uh, well, pinning just to get cards out of the deck because now we are sitting on 10 units and I can have at most 18. And that might not work amazingly well. I do sub, yeah. Get to work. Got a problem here. That's a lot of units. Letting the first room fire would be nice. So in this scenario, yeah, he has, he has a lot of points, so you gotta give him respect for that. Uh, pointy end upwards, right? There's a time to reap, a time to sow, a time to die. Have it the white of an eye from half a league away. Yeah, I have so many units. If I can destroy the banner, I would. Okay, so that's gonna be two units. We have way too many units already. Hope we're just gonna kill something. 
Again and again and again. Company! Forward march! Okay. Just keep hitting the big ones. I can play out something, but actually I kind of want to play Isbel instead. They're boosting. What a row. Oh, more stuff now. Maybe do his bell. And Make just wait. love, not war. Perhaps he's gonna kill something. Fine. Pass. Okay, sure. Fire is pretty good. Treasure trove ought to be close now. Come on. <laughs> well. Guess that's a win. I love how you just like fell on the board. That's awesome. Previous sapper. As soon as the last I beast had fallen, the Lyrians took to seeking out the treasure. Soldiers dispersed throughout the caverns in a rush, penetrating every last corner. Finally, one called out. Got it! Got the treasure! Right here! Treasure! Shiny stuff! A number of steel reinforced chests lay up against the cavern wall. Neve blew the dust from the lid of one and lifted it with some difficulty. She had hoped for gold and jewels, bars of Mahakaman steel at the least. Instead, she saw thousands of time-tarnished copper coins with a hole through their center. Bah! What's this bloody crap? Tokens of some sort? Uh, aye, that's right. Holy goldens, we call them. They're, uh, currency in Mahakam. Get our wages in them. Use them to cop victuals and hooch. What is this trash? What of arms, armor, tools? Nah, oh, that's given to us. Clan provides it. Is that what you need? Weapons, or oh, feel the agent, uh, brought you here for no reason. <laughs> Yet these tokens, they can be exchanged for other coin, can they not? To Merian Orans or Novigrad crowns? Aye, doable in theory, but not at all clever. Rates are crap. See, the elders keep them low to make life difficult for dwarven folk. Discourage them from leaving Mahakam. Oh. So, what am I supposed to do with these tokens? The thing is, can I just buy supplies with them? That that seems more... So how can these tokens serve me? Buy supplies? We must trade them. Even should we get a pittance, it will be something. The soldiers demand their pay. Okay, you make a point, but I think it would be a lot more sensible if we use this gold for supplies, then we paid them with the real gold. Ah, oh, your bums out there, Wendy. Fighting men want full dixies and tankers a hooch. Coins, but a means to that end. Yeah, exactly. What do you suggest then? As I've been saying, the tokens we use to purchase nourishment and meat, and what you've got in those chests, why? That'll do to fund a feast the likes of which Mahakam's not seen since Brewer was sworn in as Elder-in-Chief. The fighting men will eat and drink their fill, carouse about and forget their due and pay right quick. <laughs> I don't know. Invite the local dwarves to feast with you, and the clans will look kinder on you too. I don't know. I just... I don't know if we probe a feast, but I guess we're gonna do that. But it's a lot more sensible to spend it on something we can actually efficiently trade it for caution be damned what come on you need to follow it up your grace i feel obliged to remind you we are at war with nilfgaard and every copper should go to building our army i know but we live but once reynard sir gabor take the tokens and arrange me a feast so grand that ebdahi himself shall hear us revel as Meeve's force could not possibly fit in a tavern, the feast was laid out in a storehouse. 
Crates arranged in rows served as tables and benches, while the windows were festooned with lion's foot and pasque flower. Great barrels of mead, cognac and vodka were rolled in, and when the soldiers saw this, they broke out in cheers and laughter that lasted till dawn. Pour us another round, you lovable Lydian bastards! <laughs> For he's a jolly good fair... Uh, sorry, a jolly good dwarf! Oh, Gabor Zygrim Plus. No, wow, I didn't know that you can upgrade them. There was food and drink enough for the dwarves of the pass, who, with Meave's men, raised tankards in hand and voices in song the night through. To see them sharing tales and playing cards, one would not believe that anywhere down the mountains, through woods and across plains, humans and dwarves might, for the softest slight, leap at each other, murder in their eyes. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, what do we have? So Gabor plus. Is he actually worth using? Even before uh, this, I kind of used him. It's it, he's a little better. He's like a, a twenty now, <laughs> and he can play two trinkets, up to two trinkets, which is just crazy. But I'm not sure what we would have. Illyrian Hyduk is like thirty points. Is like a 20 points. Yeah, we kinda use that. Gascon can be really strong. Xavier is like a better Lyrian High Duke. Isabel Healer is ridiculously good. I'm not sure if you're gonna use Gabor Zigrin. He's still only like a 20. 20 is not good enough here. We need something better than that. And also playing two trinkets, um, yeah. Apparently you can have four trinkets, but I'm only using two because the trinkets are kind of crap. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and they're kind of like the, oh my god, you gotta have the trinkets. You can unlock more trinket slots, but the trinkets are complete trash. So, I don't know about that. That's pretty good. No, we're saving game. Anyway, guys, before we head into this, whatever this is, but I, sup I suspect Bruver Hook is probably going to be somewhere around here. Oh, oh, then we're going to head there. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of mine. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.